Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and is greatly appreciated. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. And let's get that video to over 5,000 likes, over 10,000 comments, and over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has over 2,100 likes, over 7,500 comments, and over 64,000 views. Again, let's get that video to over 5,000 likes, over 10,000 comments, and over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. Here is a beautiful 2014 P. Roosevelt dime clad composition coin. This coin was made out of a clad material, meaning that the outer layer is a mixture of copper and nickel, with the inside core being composed of copper. The metal composition is 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. 1 billion, 125 million, 500,000 were produced. The diameter is 17.9 millimeters and this coin's weight is 2.27 grams. The face value is 10 cents. However, this coin is currently worth $2.28 for one found in brilliant uncirculated mint state 65 condition. And the melt value of this coin is currently just 2.29 cents. So imagine that the metal in this coin is just a little over two and a quarter cents. So not only would it be illegal to melt this coin down, it would be illogical to melt this coin down as the face value far exceeds the metal value in this coin at this time. We are currently enjoying a look at the front of the coin, or you may call this the obverse of the coin, or simply heads, where we see Liberty, we see Roosevelt in the center of the coin facing left, then at lower left in God we trust, then moving on to the right side of the coin, we see the mint mark P. At lower right, that represents the Philadelphia mint. That is where this coin was produced. And just below that, the vintage year of 2014. That is when this coin was produced. And if you look very carefully, you can see the initials JS. That stands for John Sinak, the designer and engraver of this beautiful coin. Now let's go ahead and flip this coin over to enjoy a look at the back of the coin. Or you may call this the reverse of the coin or simply tails. And what a beautifully designed coin this is, both front and back, both obverse and reverse, both heads and tails. And as we enjoy the tail side together, we see United States of America going across the top. E pluribus unum, one dime. This coin will never drop below the value of one dime. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. Again, that video has over 2,100 likes. Let's get that video to over 5,000 likes. Again, that video has over 7,500 comments. Let's get that video to over 10,000 comments. And finally, once again, that video has over 64,000 views. Let's get that video to over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. Check out Coin Collecting Fun on Instagram and Coin Collecting Fun on Twitter at Coin Collecting Fun. And have a great day.